Sounds good. Sometimes all it takes to unite the world is a little round ball. Ole, ole, ole! <laughs> Soccer! one of those games that's released every single year. So on the surface, it may not look that different, but there are usually lots of little changes that can really make or break the feel. Indeed, and this year is one of consolidation because FIFA 15 has all the best bits from FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 with a whole new sheen. While also available on last-gen systems, this game was built foremost for the PS4 and Xbox One. And this year's game has next-gen quality to its visuals with better-than-ever player likenesses, more impressive weather effects, and some improved player animations. The game also finally includes all 20 English Premier League stadia for maximum authenticity. And Darren, don't forget the most important new feature, next-gen grass. Oh, look at it, it's so pointy. It actually looks a bit too long when you see it close up, like the groundsman forgot to mow it or something. <laughs> yeah, like a giant pincushion. <laughs> there are some nice details, though. I like how players get a bit muddy late in a game. And the way they present the highlights now looks really nice. As for that FIFA feel, well, it feels good. In fact, I think this is the best artificial intelligence in a FIFA game in years. There's a great flow to the game as you pass the ball around and try to break through the defence for a shot on goal. In a goal, in with a chance. The goalies have definitely been improved over past FIFAs. There's a wider variety of reactions from them now that really helps to make the game feel less predictable. Cahill, great header, great save! Sometimes they even make terrible fumbles. Oh! Oh no, the last thing he wanted! It's a total calamity. Just seemed to lose his bearings completely. Mishaps in front of the goal make a game so much more fun anyway. Ultimate Team makes a return along with new co-op seasons and friendlies. There are a lot of options to play, as always. The skill challenges have been improved too, with a more balanced set of mini-games that will teach you some advanced controls. They're really fun. In general, though, I found it harder to score goals in FIFA 15, but that made me enjoy the challenge of trying to score one even more. It's a real chance. I a cracker. It seems more realistic to me that you have to work harder for it, and yet sometimes you can just get lucky. Strong runner with the ball. It's a genuine chance. A goal for Brazil. You definitely have to charge up your shots a little more now to get the right amount of power. Yeah, it took me a little while to adjust to that. I'm used to FIFA feeling a little bit more arcadey. Did you start a custom player career, Bajo? Naturally. Bajo Bajo is an incredibly handsome striker for Sydney FC. And I scored two goals on my debut. Hooray! Oh, awesome superstar, Bajo. <laughs> uh, I started a goalkeeping career. You shall not pass! Negative! Oh, I'm sorry, Darren. I'm sure you just need to increase his stats a little bit. Mm. I also learned something while playing this FIFA. India has its very own national football team. I never knew that. Football is the world game, Hex. One of the only things that really bothered me about this FIFA is that the player animations are sometimes really jarring, especially when they switch between different emotions in close-ups. They just look a bit robotic. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, um, but if, if it was robot football, then yes, that would be wonderful, Darren, but this is human football and they need to look like humans and, I don't know, just pull me out of the illusion of a TV broadcast. Oh. Yeah, I noticed a little bit of graphical weirdness here and there too. Players sometimes move through each other, which is super creepy, and there's still a bit of a jaggy, fuzzy look to them at times. I mean, I understand that on last gen, but not here. Mm. Overall, though, I'm super excited about this FIFA. I think it might actually be the best FIFA since FIFA 10. I'm giving it 9 out of 10 rubber chickens. Yeah, there seem to have been some genuine improvements to FIFA 15, with the perfect balance of content that should keep any football fan happy for the rest of the season. So I'm giving it 9 as well. 